Okay, thank you, Loza. Uh, first, uh, give me one minute to share my... Okay, well, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity, Loza. Um, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all my uh, friends, colleagues from around the world, thank you very much for this opportunity. My name is Abizar Dibagja, presenting live from the island of Paradise, Bali. Uh, <laughs> In this very special occasion, I'd like to express my gratitude to the International Corporation for training and also population of BKKBN for giving me this precious opportunity to present my story that can I say uh, to all of you this evening in Indonesia or this afternoon in other country across the, uh, the world. Uh, well, first, I'd like to apologize if you uh, didn't get any, uh, if you don't get my English very well, because <laughs> I'm trying so hard to speak in front of you, and I'm so nervous this moment. So this is my presentation, uh, or I can say that this is my story in creating a fun and engagement educational content to strengthening social media communication plan for uh, to respond COVID-19, for you to, to respond COVID-19. Um, this is my first um, slide that I believe this is the, what uh, Indonesian youth are face today, which I also believe that this is also um, happened uh, to all uh, the youth across the world. School are closed, all um, learning activities are moved to home. And also, this is what happened. This is what Indonesian youth are faced today, which I believe it is also being faced by all youth in the world. School are closed and all learning activities are moving home. The unfolding of COVID-19 pandemic has demonstrated how the spread of misinformation amplified on social media and other digital platform is proving to be as much a threat to global public health as the virus itself. Also, technologies, advancement, and social media create opportunities to keep people safe, informed, and connected. However, the same tools also enable the amplify the current infodemic that continues to undermine the global response to, ge to jeopardize measures to control the pandemic. And this pandemic, uh, this, technological, this technological advance have also led to various trends in youth, which often lead to FOMO, fear of missing out for those who cannot follow it. Although we are young people, although we are young people are less at risk of surf disease from COVID-19, we are key group in the context of pandemic and share in the collective responsibility to stop the transmission because we are also the most active online interacting with an average number of five digital platforms such as Twitter, TikTok, WhatsApp, and also Instagram, like Mr. Eugenia said. So, um, this is what we have to do. Uh, I think this is what we do done, we, what we have done in Indonesia in order to strengthening uh, social media to respond to COVID-19. First, we have uh, three um, plans to implement in our social media activities. First, we have social media optimization. We are also building community to share the content. And also we are um, always trying to make every content is fun and also entertaining. So this is, uh, what can I say? Principle of social media optimization. First principle that we have to create shareable content easy to share and also uh, easy to attract young people. And also we have to make sharing easy and fun. This is very important, friends, because uh, if every content is uh, difficult to share, it won't be echo. It won't be uh, well delivered to the youth. And also uh, third 
principle we have to reward engagement in indonesia we already held uh, something like gathering for admin who operate social media in our local community genre indonesia e, genre indonesia is a, a available in every province in Indonesia. And we gather the, the admin who operate that to giving them reward for what have they done to appreciate their um, effort, creating content and also um, socialize the information about sexual reproductive health awareness and also empowering youth in a life skill to end child merit. The four principle of social media optimization is we um, proactively share. We are not only making the content, but we are also share it proactively uh, in any platform that we have. We have YouTube, we have Facebook, we have um, more than one social media. <clears throat> and last, we uh, last principle of uh, social media optimization that we measure use and reuse encourage reuse uh, content uh, like um, what can I say like recycle life process we are also encouraged to reuse uh, content that we have made in uh, something like news highlight so so the the audience won't forget what we have shared and also the audience will always remember the content that we already share. And next, uh, we build, we building community to share the content. In Indonesia, we have a Gendre Indonesia Foundation. Gendre Indonesia Foundation is a community focusing on sexual reproductive health awareness and also providing uh, information for the youth to access about sexual reproductive health and we also providing um, counseling and also we empower the youth from a life skill activity uh, that community along with national children's forum and any youth and religious organization in indonesia are the echo who create uh, i mean who share and also uh, spread the information positive information absolutely that we create in our social media this is uh, i think very important to have because if we create something um content we have to have the media to spread it one of them is building community and last is make it fun and entertaining because as the youth especially in indonesia indonesian youth love something entertaining so entertaining should be first people also love story tell them with your caption tell them with your analogy tell them with your unexpected fun fact story because uh, that three point i think is something that you'd really love to see in social media of course with the data that we can uh, wrap with the uh, something like funny and also great uh, interesting story and making educated making educational contents that are fun and also engaging i if i can take a uh, quotes from albert einstein that logic will get you from a to b but imagination will take you everywhere it means that social media can take us everywhere if we can um, bring the audience to this uh, three plan that I like to uh, that I over to you right now. And last, I think this is the end of my presentation. So I'm sorry for the trouble that I faced at the first. Uh, let's stay connect. Uh, with my Instagram at Abizar Ibagja and also Genre Indonesia and BKKBN. Loza, back to you. Thank you very much.